Oh, it feels great. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy the election process and, uh, you know, getting out and talking to residents throughout the city. And, and I, I've always loved doing that ever since I served on the city council for eight years and as deputy mayor, always enjoyed just interacting with the public and, and having that dialogue. Um, so just very excited just to uh, keep Hornell moving forward. We've got a lot of great projects uh, in the pipeline. Uh, infrastructure projects, uh, DPW projects. Uh, uh, you know, we just uh, we just we're in the process of uh, acquiring body cameras for the police departments. We just entered into a leasing program uh, with our fire department to bring in new ambulances on a regular basis. So we've got a lot of great things happening. Obviously, the uh, DRI Downtown Revitalization Initiative that's starting to get moving and. As we get into next year and the, and the year after, uh, you know, I'm just very excited to uh, see some of these projects come to fruition and, and really see them through some of the things that you know we've started uh, during my first term. Uh, we've got a lot of funding applications into the state and to the federal government for for various projects uh, around the city as well. So we, we've got a lot of things going on here. Obviously, the, the growth of uh, Alstom and and our manufacturing base right here. Um, you know, with a new car, car shell facility that they're building, adding another 250 jobs. So, uh, you know, all arrows are pointing up in the city of Hornell, and uh, I'm just so happy that the residents uh, allowed me to serve them another four years. It's, you know, I'm very honored and, and humbled by it. I think a continued strengthening of public safety, uh, you know, a commitment to police and fire. Uh, de definitely the codes department, you know, as the city grows, there's more pressure on the codes department. Uh, you know, we have more people coming into the city, uh, you know, neighborhoods, um, you know, tackling some of the blight issues and some of the rental uh, rental properties. And, you know, and, and there's good good landlords and there's, uh, you know, some that we have to really keep an eye on. So, you know, there's quality of life issues that, uh, that I focused on in my first term and will continue to focus on in my second term. And, and really being transparent and being open to the public, being accessible, that's always a top priority of mine. And, uh, you know, I, I always kind of kid myself uh, or like joke to myself that sometimes I'll give you more information than, than what you ask for. So, you know, when we're having the, you know, common council meetings or I just, you know, bump into someone, uh, you know, out and about at the store, you know, they ask me a question and then, you know, 20 minutes later, we're, we're still talking. But uh, that, that, that's all, that's all well and good. I, I enjoy that. Just the, you know, uh, getting the information out to the public so they really know what's going on with the city, what's going on with the programs, what's going on with infrastructure improvements and, and things of that nature. So it's really about you know, getting the information out there and just the sharing of that and having an open dialogue. Yeah, you know, I always try to be a cheerleader for the city and, and you know, my message is always positive. We've got a lot of great things happening in the city. And, uh, you know, if there's one thing that I've tried to do over the last four years, and, and I will certainly do it over the next, is create that culture of positivity uh, with residents and the business community, trying to make Hornell as attractive as we possibly can for people to come here, to live here, to work here, to invest here. Uh, 